Anyway, I am healing Hero Brian today. I'm going to be explaining what's happening. So, I think, anyway. Well, let's see. Wait. His skin is back to normal. Hero Brian's done explaining whatever's whatever he's trying to say. You're going to have to make a world jumper to get you and the creepy posses to other world. Hey guys, this is Zorkent too. So I'm really excited today because this guy, Hero Brian, is all healed up. So, yeah, he still is not completely positive what Mady's thingamabobber is here. Uh, as a matter of fact, Mady actually is not here for part eight. He did come back from his vacation, but he had to go out somewhere. I'm actually not quite sure where, but he's not here at the moment. But I need to record this right now because... It's been officially one week since Herobrine's been healed, and I kind of want to check up on him. You know, like, how a doctor does, like, a yearly checkup on you and stuff. Yeah. So, the official checkup, I guess, begins here. How are you doing? He looks okay. His skin is bet. Uh, his skin is better. I mean, for Herobrine Part Six and for the part of Seven where he wasn't healed, it was as you guys remember, it was all bloody. But now it's all better. Hey, he's doing good. All right. Sorry, bro, but I kind of need as much science as I can, <laughs> in case I lose one. Because sometimes that does happen with you creepy pastas. So, uh. Uh. Are there any plans for today? Question mark. Oh, jeez. Wee! Uh-oh. Oh, that's just the shrine. <laughs> I saw the fire and I was like, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> so how are you guys liking the new intros, actually? I forgot to, I for, uh, forgot to ask. Remember that dispenser? Okay. I know what he's talking about, but I'm pretty sure you guys do not. So I'm gonna go down and show you what he's saying. Ooh, wait. Oh, the clutch, the clutch. I'm not taking any fall damage. All right, so I'm going to go down to ground level and show you what he's talking about. All right, so he's talking about this dispenser right here. There's nothing in it. He asked me to craft it and he, he got a lever and placed it on the dispenser. I don't know why, I guess he's going to explain why, but first, before before I respond to him, I want to say to you guys, um, do you notice anything different about the biome? Before the rain washes up the render distance, do you notice anything different about Herobrine's, like, territory? No? Actually, you probably do, but I will say it anyway. It's expanded again. So, it didn't expand when he was um, sick or dying. I'm guessing it only expands when he's, like, healthy. Uh, it, this part used to end, like, near this coal hill, but now it's going on, like, past this ravine. And, and that part over there used to end, like, literally right at the shrine, but this part's going on, too. 
like this part's going on a bit further. And it's also stretched down the hill a bit. So yeah, Herobrine's uh, territory is becoming bigger once again. Uh, I'll explain what that creeper's doing there in a minute. Um, oh yeah, now I have to respond to Herobrine. Yeah, no, for, no, no. Alright, yeah, what about it? Question mark. I, I have no idea what he's doing today. Okay. So, this is a charged creeper. Yes, 9699's classic minion. Uh, Mady and I, uh, off screen, he was on the Herobrine world for like two seconds off screen. Uh, we fought the creepers that was up, that were appearing here. I'm guessing it was from 9699 trying to attack us again. Um, and we managed to capture one. Now, it's really weird. I don't know what this snow block is doing here either. Herobrine must have done something. But, this creeper... Alright, so, when we were fighting the creepers, something weird happened when we killed one of them. So we trapped another one um, for Herobrine part eight to show you what the weird thing is. And uh, I'm, I'm going to, I'm gonna show you guys once Herobrine's done explaining whatever's, whatever he's trying to say. <laughs> You're going to have to make a world jumper to get you and the creepypastas to other world. World jumper? To get creepypastas to other world. Wait, world jumper, other world. Is he trying to make some kind of technology to get creepy pastas from one world to another? What the? Hang on, I gotta ask him that. I gotta ask him that. World jumper. Like, teleporting to a different world? Correct. Okay, so I, I was explained, like, everybody explained it to me further. I had to cut it off because it took a while. But I recorded this part, so basically what he says is, it can be crafted through the dispenser. You will need these things. One nether star, one dragon egg, two obsidian, four XP bottles, and one bacon. Uh, excuse me. Altogether, that is nine things, if you split them all apart. And as there are nine slots in the dispenser, and as he says, it can be crafted through the dispenser, I'm guessing this is one of those, like, 9699 thingamabobbers. Um... Okay, so we need four XP bottles, and he just gave them to me. But how did he have them to begin with? Oh yeah, by the way, guys, um, we do have a beacon from 9699 Shrine. I don't know why it's red. All I know is that it's red, and I don't know why it's red. <laughs> uh, that's, that's really weird. Wait, I gotta ask Herobrine how he got these so quickly. Okay, so how did you get these so quick? I'm just gonna say quick, not quickly, because I wanna be quick. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was horrible. All right, so we have one beacon already, and now we have the four XP bottles. I don't think we, oh no, 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 we have the nether star in the X and XX world, but we don't have one here. That's, I was thinking of the nether star in the X and XX world. I took some of my XP and put it into the bottle. Oh, so he kind of, see this XP bar? So he like took some XP out of his XP bar 
and like bottled it somehow. That's pretty cool. Nice. All right. So we have one beacon. We have four XP bottles. We need two obsidian, one nether star, and one dragon egg. Wait, how do we? How are we gonna get? This is so weird. Okay. Well, anyway, here's some. Oh no 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 no! I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna break that. Okay. So. Um. And now that Herobrine's done explaining everything that he explained, uh, I want to show you this. All right. So. This creeper, so at, at least this is what happened when, this is what happened when Mady and I killed that other creeper, so it should happen with this one too, but, well, hang on, one, I hate when my family gets too loud, I eventually have to tell them to shut up because I'm recording a video, anyway, um, so here's what I want to show you with the creeper. I'm going to have to hit this guy from far away, because if not, he will blow up. But the creepers drop weird stuff. Nope, 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 nope. Frick. Wait, how did it not blow anything up? Okay, that's odd. I'm just going to find another creeper. I'm going to trap it, and I'll show you guys. Okay, so I asked Carabine to kill this thing. Alright, there we go. I just gave him the signal. The creeper won't go for him. Because he's, like, the master griefer. You know, as, like, a creepypasta. Alright. So, Herobrine, I think, might have collected all the creeper's drops because nothing is here. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna ask Herobrine for the item. Alright, so Herobrine gave me the stuff. What it was is a nether star and a full stack of TNT. So the TNT isn't really surprising as it's like, you know, like explosive stuff, creepers like explode. But the nether star part is, however, that's only more convenient for us because nether star is another ingredient for the world hopper. My freaking family needs to freaking quiet down, or I will get really mad. Anyway, so now we have the beacon, the XP bottles, and the nether star. So now all we need is the two obsidian and the dragon egg. Um, question. How are we supposed to get the dragon egg? We're not going to have to fight the ender dragon egg. Hang on. Uh, no, not art. How... Do we get the dragon egg? Yeah, um, that's kind of the one thing we can't get right now. I I got a fresh new diamond pickaxe from Mady's diamond block, and we still have six diamonds to spare. You know, I should actually put that away, <laughs> in case I lose it. And the shrine over there has some obsidian on it, so we can get that pretty easily. But, how do we get the dragon egg? Like, if we're gonna have to fight the ender dragon, like, I am not prepared for that at all. So, um, where did all this stuff go? Okay, well... Um, hang on. Um, yeah. Wait, no, I need the diamond pick. Where'd I put it? Alright, Hero Bind's probably done by now. Um,. Here he is. Alright. Alright, fight the- Okay. How are we supposed to kill the ender dragon? I'm not prepared for that. Oh, but it's simple. Spam TNT. Well, it's not like the ender dragon's gonna be on the ground the whole time. Wait a second. Let me ask him that. Um... 
how wait uh, uh is T and T uh supposed to defeat Ah, uh, I hate it. spell correct these days. The dragon. I mean, I have TNT. Just why do I need it? Oh, good, 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 good. For a second, I thought I didn't have the flint and steel, but trust me, you will see. Okay, well, I'm trusting him. One more thing. Where's the end portal? <laughs> also, how will we get to the... You know what? I'm going to leave that there because I am so triggered. I'm not even going... I'm not even going to correct that. What you doing? Lightning spawn eggs. What's he doing those for? Okay, that that. Okay, I think he's done. That's just an end portal frame with an eye of ender in it. How's that supposed to transport us to the end? Um, do I just? You know what? In case this does work, I'm going to uh, have my. Uh, yeah, stuff I. Apparently, TNT is supposed to defeat it. Um. Yeah. What? Hello? Hello? What? Oh, I'm in the end. Oh! Oh. Oh, that's not good. Um, I can't get anywhere. What the? Okay, so I guess I just start spamming TNT. It's health just dragged down. Wait. Is that actually doing damage to the dragon? Hang on a minute. Whoa. Now the dragon's almost dead. Hang on. Two more TNT should do it. Wait. It's latching on to the Ender Dragon? Ah! Oh, the Ender Dragon's dead! But there's a freaking Enderman after me. Oh. What the? How did I appear back here? Alright, don't look at the Enderman. Alright, the Ender Dragon's dead! I should get the XP while I can. A hey, level 68. I really do not feel like putting up a fight with an Enderman right now. Um, alright, so... What I just realized is that there are giant obsidian pillars right here. So, well, uh, why not take two blocks? It's not hurting anyone. We can just, uh, take these. Right? Alright, well, anyway...
there's a way to get the dragon egg. But I'm gonna need some endstone. No, I can use my iron pickaxe for this. That should be enough. You know what? One more because the number 13 always bothers me and it's actually getting annoying now. Hey, here are mine. And you have the diamond sword prepared. This guy is good. He's a good man. I really do not want to get near these Endermen right now. Alright, alright, let's do this, let's do this. Dang it! You know what, there's an easier way to do this. Tap the dragon egg. Ah, right. I do not have any torches, but we can just put the piston right there. Activate it somehow. A solution. All right, so there's the dragon egg. And, let's head home. No! <laughs> I'm not reading that end poem. I'm not reading that end poem. I have better things to do. Alright, so now we have the two obsidian and this big old buddy right here. Uh, what do we do? I'm gonna wait for Herobrine to get back. Okay, so, it took way too long to be explained on screen. But, basically what we do is, it's literally like a 9699 custom crafting thing. So what we do, he told me the certain order off screen, but it's like this, 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 and then the four bottles go like that. It's not going to make any noise, but when you craft it, the lever just disappeared, um... Hmm, I have an idea. I can use a redstone block, just like in the end. So when you activate the dispenser, it'll instantly craft and then shoot out the thing. So. Whoa, it's an enchanted beacon? Bruh. This thing looks so majestic. Hang on, I gotta hold this in my hand, bro. It's a beacon with power 20. That's so cool. This is literally an enchanted beacon. That's the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. Okay. Um. Now we gotta build it. You know what? I'm gonna build all this off screen. Okay, so we've set up basically like everything. Um, except for the actual beacon. So, here Brian said I could do the honors, so, boom. And apparently I'm supposed to place a redstone block on this thing. Alright, so basically, what happens is, um, there's three buttons, because there's three current creepypasta worlds that were, you know, like, that are not the Herobrine world. So there's the X and XX world, there's the Null world, and there's the Creepypasta Research world, where I summoned Entity 303. Um, okay. Okay. Anyway, um, so what happens is, this sticky piston...
uh, this sticky piston, if the machine is functioning, like if the world hopper is functioning well, then it'll open up that, like it'll pull back that block and the beam will shoot up, which means it's functioning properly. Um, so let's say I wanted to set this to the null world because that's actually um, what we're trying to do right now. Alright, so that lightning strike is how you know that it's been set correctly. Um, so I've set it to the null world. Now we can't travel there yet because uh, Herobrine told me if this is actually supposed to work, then we need a world hopper or a world jumper on uh, the null world as well. So it's kind of like if you you place like two telepads and you jump from one to the other. So apparently this is if you were coming from another world hopper on another world and you were going to this world. So this is like, so this is the sending place to another world. And if you're coming from, an, and if you are coming here from another world, this is the receiver place where you like appear where you arrive on this world. So, yeah, um, so I have set it to the null world now, so it just sent the signal to this lever. Um, what we need to do right now, so this goes all the way into the ground. This helps the machine function. Um, so here's what I'll do. I will activate the underground signal with my redstone block, but I won't press the big lever because the big lever is what actually teleports you to another world. And right now, uh, we can't really do that unless we build another one, so. All right, the piston is on. The piston has retracted and the beacon beam is up. So, that does not mean that we can teleport necessarily, but it does mean that if we wanted to teleport, we'd have the opportunity. So if the beacon beam was not flashing and we did have another world hopper and we wanted to teleport, if that beam was not showing, um, then we could not teleport until it was showing. So I don't know why the beacon is red. Uh, and actually, when I look back on it, the nether star was red too. Um, I think Herobrine might have actually done that. I think now he's, you know how like 969 is taking over all the grasses and making it black? I think Herobrine is doing that too, just like he's taking over the land and making it his. So now he's starting to take over some items as well, and blocks, like the nether star and the beacon. And he's making it red. Or that might be 9699. I hope it's Herobrine. It probably is. But, uh... Yeah, so now we, we got the we got the world hopper on the Herobrine world functioning. The world jumper, what I would keep ho calling it the hopper. Cause you, I guess because I can, like, you know, hop between worlds. So anyway, we got the world jumper in the Herobrine world all set up. Now all we have to do is go into Null Part 8 and build the world jumper in the Null world. And then uh, in Null Part 8, once we actually finish the world jumper in the Null world... Uh, we'll actually test it. We'll set, we'll set it, uh, we'll set the jumper to the Herobrine world and teleport. And if we, uh, find Herobrine's biome and good, good old Herobrine staring at us, uh, then we know we've done it. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be hyped for Null Part 8 and building another one of these in his world. And if this actually does work, that means we'll be able to transport Herobrine, Null, and any other creepypastas um, like, in between, like, worlds. And once we build one on the X and X, X world and Creepypasta Research world, we can travel between, like, any worlds at any, at any, like, you know, at any wish. Anyway, um, I love, I love the support I'm getting. I'm gonna need some more if I'm gonna win this war. I've already got here my support from inside the game, but without further ado, see you guys later.